Hey everyone, and this is Whir. I'm here to tell you how to make a simple clock time-based combination lock. <clears throat> You're trapped in a little base. Oh no. Hint. One, two, three. One, two, three. <gasps> the door magically opened. Button. Door opened. Chest. Diamonds! This is an excellent torture device. Excellent. If you're in a server, and this is, say, bedrock, I don't know how, but say you're an admin and you get bedrock, this is bedrock, just full bedrock, and the person doesn't have rights to, um, teleport themselves back to the spawn, it's just an epic torture device, because they can't do anything about it. They're just trapped with a bunch of diamonds. Can't do anything with the diamonds. They are trapped forever. So, I'm going to show you how to create this simple yet amazing device. What you're going to need is a block of any kind. I'm going to use iron. We're going to need a lot of blocks of that kind. Redstone torch, a button, well, a bunch of buttons, a bunch of redstone, a door, a bunch of repeaters. And the first step is to just go like this, then one more space. And go like this. One more space. Add a door. One space. One space. Button. Well, one space. Then a button. One space. Then a button. I'm showing you how to do it with three numbers for the combination. That you can do more. Like you could do. I mean, you could do as many as you want. You could do a billion just going on forever. I mean, that'd be really hard. I mean, of course. I mean, it w would be, like, pretty much impossible unless you had, like, really fast typing skills and you had teleportation waypoints set. So, like, if you had a billion going on forever and you push this button then you teleport to the last one, push the button, teleport over here, push this button, it wouldn't work. But maybe if it's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way on to a billion, like, boom, 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 Sorry about the lag there. And I'm going to put a button there as well. So, what you do is you destroy the block right next to the door. And you add a block here, 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 and here. Right where all the buttons are. Then you put redstone right there inside the hole. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Then you make them go down like this. Then you set the repeaters. Say, if you want your combination to be one, two, three, then what you're going to need to do is have the longest delay on the first one, the middle delay on the second one, and the shortest delay, or no delay, on the third one. So what I do is I put four here. You don't have to do four. I mean, you don't have to have them on the fourth. You don't have to have them on the last tick. But I like to have them on that because that way you have plenty of time to push the buttons. Not just like get to push them like and then yeah, that'd be extremely hard. Then I'm gonna put two and then I'm gonna put none. Then you just add them at equal lengths and have your block at the end of all three of them. Then you have blocks connecting them like this. Torch here, torch here, torch here, and torch here. Then Rest on like this, which then deactivates this torch, and you're going to need to have them out like this. So then what you do next is right here, yeah, right here, um, just, I mean, it, you can have this actually literally anywhere you want, but it'd be convenient to have it in a nice space next to this. So you have it like that, you have one block above it. Oh yeah, I forgot, you need pistons too. One piston there, one piston there. Then you're gonna need to put. Actually, I, I'm gonna do it like that. Block like this. Then you're gonna need to put a torch like that, and a torch like this, on both sides. Then you're going to need to put redstone on the top of that. A block here. Put redstone all the way down, leading to here. Repeater here, and redstone. Well, could just be like that. Redstone like that. And then from here, you go like this, 
and this is called a T flip flop. If you've never used these before, how this works is the torch activates the block above it if it is a solid block. This is not a solid block, so it doesn't activate it. And if it's activated, then things from all sides are also activated, besides the pistons. <laughs> Just all rest on the other side. So this goes like that, and goes all the way there. So, um, I'm also going to connect this over here to that. That way this button also acts like the combination lock. And how this works is, if you activate it, and then unactivate it, it flips it. And then the torch activates that which has redstone and leads to the door or just whatever you want it to, to go to and the door opens or it's activated and then you simply power it the flow goes all the way up here turns off the torches you unpower it turns off the torch I mean turns on the torches the reason you want this here is because if you don't then the flow will just come up here and it will stay on and break. Although, if you do have it on here, when you power it like this, it will just go straight through and it won't even have to flip yet. But then when you do, it will just flip. So actually, I'm curious about that. So it's on. Yeah, it won't affect it that much. And it turns off. So, that's how the T flip flop works. And it's also how the combination works. And let me show you this in action. One, two, three. Door opens. So how this works is you push that one, delay goes all the way over there, turns that off, and it has a delay. And then this one has a delay too, but a shorter delay, and this one has no delay. So when all three activated in a not at the same time, it flips the fleet T flip flop, which then deactivates or activates the door. But if you do it in the wrong combination, how it won't work is one, two, one. I mean, it could work if you do it fast enough. Nope, it can't. Maybe it can't. Yeah, it doesn't work. Because by the time this flow ends and the torches is already reactivated after it's deactivated from the flow happening like this, when it goes back to here, this will not even be to that torch yet. So it will not work. That is how you can't do the wrong combination. And if you do one, two, then wait a long time and push three, it won't work. And if you do one, wait a long time and push two, and then three, it won't work either. <laughs> so that's how you make it. And if you want to have another door, like I did in the other room, you just do the same thing over here. Skipping one block, adding a block, then doing this. Adding the door, then having a little hole. Wait, that's not, that's not the right spot hole right there right where the door is then you have another T flip flop little thing like that piston oops piston piston the block redstone redstone torch redstone torch and then it's gonna come over here like that and go like that and you're going to want to activate it like that. That way, when you activate it, both doors... Wait, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Oh, that's right. I, I lined it up wrong. I had to line it up like this. Both doors were open. But, if you want one door to be open and one door to be closed, what you have to do is make sure one door is open and one door is closed. You see, look. Well, hmm. here, I'll turn off the flow. So both doors are closed, right? What you're going to need to do is open up both doors, destroy the door, put the door back. That way, Wait, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? That's weird. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Oh yeah, I remember what you need to do. So what you actually need to do, here, let me disconnect that, is build it with the door open, then build this one 
with the door closed. Then what it'll do is activate it and it actually flips the doors. Um, I'm not sure what to call the door flipping thing right now. I'm, I mean, someone might have a name, but if it is my invention, I would like to call it something. And if someone's already invented it before me, which I'm pretty sure of, and they didn't name it, then I would like to name it now. But I'm not sure what to name it. So leave it in the comments if you have an idea. So when you build the second door, you need to make sure this door is open. So that door is open. You build this contraption. You put the door. And it works perfectly. Because this T flip flop is on. And that T flip flop is off. Actually, you don't need to have this door open when you're making it. You can actually just make sure this block. Well, actually, that would open it. So, never mind. You do need to have the door open when you're making it. And it also works with the combination lock. One, two, three. Doors open, doors closed. And then over here you can have like a chest or something, or like some traps, or something. I don't know. You can have anything really. This can also keep people from like going both ways. Like, say you have a torch and another torch, and both torches need to be activated to act to make this thing work. But this button won't activate both torches at the same time because of flip flops. And then some other contraption. And that's just one example of what you can do with this whole flip flop door idea. And you can always add more on to this. You can always add more like this. Just Although if you want to make them longer sometimes you just have to go like this and do it like that or like this and do it like that and they don't always have to be on the same side I mean I could just make this longer and longer and longer and go on forever but you can also like have them on this side and on that side and you could also one cool thing I just discovered in my mind just now is you can actually have a combination on this side and a combination on that side that like, there's one person on this side, one person on that side, and they have to activate it just the right time for it to open, and both doors open on both sides. That would actually be pretty cool. But as a, as you can see, I'm not on a server, so I wouldn't be able to do that. So, you can always go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it doesn't have to be in this particular order. You can make it in any order you want. So the combination is now four, one, two, three flip flop ding dong <laughs> and that is my video this is worth signing off i'll see you guys later and bye